Hi guys, I definitely didn't mean to click go, but here we go. Anyway, <laughs> welcome, I'm Karma. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn. I am also a Capricorn, so let us see what is going on. One second while I click go live on YouTube. So for those of you on my social media, Facebook and Instagram, if you want to see the cards picture in picture and see the whole spread, Go ahead and come subscribe and follow on YouTube. So this is for Capricorn. And here we go. Once it gives me the go ahead, we can play. Welcome to Karma on Deck. I'm Karma. Let's do your weekly reading for Capricorn for the week of June 20th. Mercury retrograde in full effect. So we have all of that going for those of you that don't know what Mercury retrograde is. Uh, I'm going to do a live on that in just a minute. So let's shuffle a little bit real quick and take a look and see what's going on for Capricorn. Hello, Sydney. Hi, Ashley. What's up, Sam? All right, let's take a look and see what's going on for us Capricorn. Oh, I just dropped some. So let's shuffle one more time. All right, kids, here we go. This is for me, too. So, Page of Wands, building your foundation. Then the Four of Wands, that has to do with house and home. Eight of Cups, things moving quickly. Five of Coins and Four of Cups. So, for Capricorn, what that tells us is there is the Four of Cups. So, that definitely means Capricorn is going to be a little bit more social than they have been in the past week or so. We have the Five of Coins. So, Capricorn is taking their money and planning how they want to spend it, how they want to account for it, what they want to do with it. Because we have here the five of coins, and usually that is having the money and then deciding what we're going to do with it. So that's a little bit of mapping. I wouldn't be surprised if we got the moon card a little bit. Four of wands has to do with building your home foundation and structure and paying attention to, to all of that too. We have the nine of wands, which means halfway or getting things done. Capricorn, you're all about money right now. There's a little bit of tension, deadline, and pressure that's going on. We have the Four of Swords, which is pressure, tension, and deadline. So that's really you paying attention to what has to be happening with your money or planning how you're going to handle it and what's next. A lot of indecision going on with Capricorn right now. We have the Six of Coins. That's a lot of that, ind that decision that's going on with your um, your money. It's all coins for you too. Capricorn's deeply concerned with their relationships right now. We have the Ten of Coins and the Two of Cups. That's all about balance, putting things back into alignment and equal give and take. We do have a lot of indecision that's going on right now. What I would say for Capricorn is wait. Um, it's very hard for a Capricorn to wait. We're very much go-getters. We want to be the one to be practical and make the decisions and if it's to be done, do it myself kind of energy. We have the Two of Wands. So uh, two of wands is all about having that indecision or feeling as if you're in between two different kinds of energy, right? So this is six of one, half dozen of the other. It's being in between two different people's opinions. It's about being of two different opposite mindsets when it comes to a decision making. Maybe you're listening to a coworker and a supervisor complain about a situation or maybe it's between your child and your partner or between a couple and you happen to be friends with two different sides of the story. So the two of wands is that conflicting energy. You both have the eight of cups and the eight of wands. So that means speed. I know Capricorns don't like to rush into anything. We like to have um, a steady as they go kind of um, working, so to speak. But we have the eight of coins and the eight of wands which means that both in love and work, things are going to be moving a little quicker than we expect them to, or that things are in motion and you're finally like taking your feet off the brake, so to speak. I will say though, that don't be impulsive with your money. There's a little bit of Knight of Coins energy, which is impulsive behavior, but I see a lot of social activity for Capricorn this upcoming week. I'm also seeing the hangman. So there's a little bit of a caution for you to wait or the purgatory feeling, feeling that as if things aren't moving as you want them to. And what I mean by that is hangman is purgatory. It's like putting in for a loan and waiting to hear back, or it's applying for a grant or college and hearing to wait. It's about being pregnant and you just, you got to wait until the baby's born. You just can't force something. So Capricorn in your stubbornness, and there might be a little bit of frustration there with the hangman. So if things aren't moving like you want them to, because Capricorn's all about getting things done, you have the hangman. So your recommendation is to just pause a little bit and wait. 
because there definitely could be some delays. And that's what Mercury retrograde is all about is delays and also feeling as if there is a suck energy. So we can't force a square peg in a round hole. Wait until the timing is just about right. Let's pull some cards for you from Mystic Dreamer. Put the dragon ones up for your general spread. Let's take a look and see what Capricorn Moon is looking like. So Capricorn is uh, Moon is all about how you think and feel, how you go about getting things. So let's take a look and see what Capricorn has going on mood-wise. Book your one-on-one, -on -one, karmaondeck.com. For your general, for your specific reading, especially when it comes to lovers and relationships, let's take a look and see. All right, so we have the Two of Pentacles, Fickle Capricorn right now, undecided on what it is we want to do. We do have the Empress. Interesting, I just mentioned pregnancy. So the Empress is all about things being a fullness of time, right? Things being about time. It's about harvesting the thing you've been waiting for. We also see the Four of Wands, which has to do with commitment. So Capricorn's very much taking a good long look at their commitments and trying to decide whether or not we want to be vested in the situation that we're currently in. We also see the Eight of Swords, which is drama, drama. Capricorn, we don't like drama, right? We have the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords, which is miscommunication and drama. That's the hallmarks of Mercury retrograde. So if you're not separating yourself from the situation and doing a little self-care, then you might be finding yourself a little bit more reactive. So when it comes to Mercury retrograde, remember, give yourself extra time in travel, give yourself extra time in conversations, and allow for people to have a little bit of grace. We also have the two of swords. Capricorn very much so is in undecided. So Capricorn is sitting on the fence and herein lies the problem with the two of swords. So the two of swords is indecision. So what happens when you can't make a decision? So indecision is a decision, right? And what I mean by that is if you don't make a decision to stay or go, if you don't make a decision to speak your peace or stay quiet, you're essentially saying, that the situation is fine the way it is or you're going to put up with it just the way it is. So indecision is a decision. And remember with the two of swords, oftentimes some opportunities have an expiration date. And what I mean by that is there might be the moment where you strike when the iron is hot, but there also might be the moment where the other person or the other situation, it's the job you want to go for. It's the lover you want to reach out and talk to, but don't, and they move on because they don't think you're interested. Or it might be the job that you want to go after and suddenly they've hired someone else because that opportunity just kind of expired. So don't stay in that for too long. I'm also seeing the Justice card, Temperance, Nine of Pentacles, the Death card. So here's what we have to say about that. The Death card is all about change, okay? So the Death card is change. It's a baptism. It's a marriage. It's a divorce. It's the same thing. The energy doesn't change whether it's good or bad. It's your interpretation of death being a change. So birth is a change too. D birth would be the death card as well. Having a new baby in the household is a complete change of your lifestyle, right? So getting divorced is a complete change of your lifestyle. Getting married is a complete change of your lifestyle. So we do have the death card going on for, for Capricorn. And as we play with that energy, just prepare yourself for knowing that all these things that are changing are quicksand in front of us and storms rolling in as fast as they're rolling out. This period and season in our life is all about change, not good or bad, but we just have to redesign our lives around that. We do have the temperance card, which is balance. And if you notice here, she's got one cup where she's pouring from one cup into the other and you can't fill it unless it's empty. So remember that as you play with temperance, just know that it takes a little give and take. And this is what I talk about when I say equal measure. So when you have equal measure, it's about you giving and people giving to you. So make sure you're not emptying your cup into projects, people, situations, relationships that don't feed you in return as well. So I also see the Eight of Wands, which is Capricorn has an apology coming their way from a lover, a friend, or someone. I feel like people are wanting to reconcile or repair. I'm also seeing that you're on the verge of making some very big decisions because we have the Page of Wands. You just don't feel well equipped to make them right now. But here's what's true. Time moves, time changes, things shift, whether we like it or not. We have the Ten of Pentacles, and that has to do with charity. So I don't know whether you're expecting others or having relied on others for charity or you're giving it, but I'm just seeing the Ten of Pentacles, which has to do with legacy. Capricorn is very much aware of what work they're putting in where and how the payoff is going to show itself later. And the biggest thing with relationships right now is Capricorn's having a hard time wanting things to go back the way they were. We have the Five of Cups. So things aren't doing so well 
in our relationships right now when we have the Two of Cups. So we desperately want things to go back to the way we, they were, and we're not quite sure how we can make that happen or at least have that same energy. We also have the Judgment card as well as the Justice card. And what I would have to say about that is when you sit in judgment of others, there's a difference between being judgmental and having good judgment. Just remember which side of the fence you sit on that because agape, guys, you got to come from perfect love and unconditional love. You can't give a gift and hope that you get one back. You just give the gift. So when you love, just, just love unconditionally. And remember that perception is projection. And as we judge others, that's we're being perceived the same way. And others are really just trying to survive day to day. Um, but three of swords and the nine of swords, sorry, the three of swords and the eight of swords is showing that there might be a little bit of drama going on for Capricorn right now, which we're desperately trying to avoid and minimize and just give each other a little bit of grace because we do have the three of swords, which is miscommunication. I know that card is going to show up quite a bit for us with Mercury retrograde in play. Book your one-on-one -on -one karma on deck, like, subscribe, and share on YouTube. You go on YouTube, you can see the cards picture in picture and see how they're laid out. So please come play with me on there. You'll see a lot more content as well. My discussions and some of my lives where you have an opportunity to go on there and ask some questions. And actually, if you haven't gotten a reading from me, you'll be able to play with that a little bit. So let's pull a card from Divination of the Ancients and see what that card has to say. I'm not doing that card, throwing that one out. The Ouija board is not a tool that I typically use, but the card reference is getting some information or finding or getting information from an expert. But I do have the dictionary card for Capricorn, which has to do with communication. There is no such thing as over communication. It may sound a little bit as if things are being, um, you know, bludgeoned to death or feel as if you're talking too much about certain things. However, there's no such thing as too much communication. So the card that you have from Divination of the Ancients is all about communication. Speak your peace. If, if Mercury Retrograde is shaking up the bottle for you and having um, individuals show up that hadn't been in the past or reaching out to you, that's to be expected. So give a little love and grace and speak your peace, guys. Much love and light. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Catch you on the flip side. I think I am going to come back on here and do Aquarius and possibly a regular live for you guys to ask some questions of me and get a quick one card spread. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'll catch you on the flip side. Love and light.